Hi class, I'm Dr. Scott Adamson, and this is a continuation of a series of videos related to the idea of trigonometric substitutions for finding integrals. And we've studied in previous videos that when the structure of the chain rule is lacking, we need other techniques. And this is one that you will find helpful. Here's the structure you're looking for in this case. This is a one over one plus X squared. Now, what might come to mind to prompt you to do what I'm gonna show you to do is the one plus X squared. Now, why would that prompt you to do what I'm about to show you to do? Because of these identities. One plus tangent squared is the same thing as secant squared. One plus, imagine that this was a tangent squared. One plus tangent squared is the same as secant squared. So what we're going to do is make intentional, deliberate choices here and then just deal with the consequences. And the first choice we're going to make is this. We're going to let x equal tangent theta. Now, the reason behind that is, again, we're kind of targeting, we're keeping our eye on that 1 plus tangent squared identity. So can you imagine this? 1 plus, instead of x squared, imagine replacing that x with tangent of theta then I would have one plus tangent of theta squared, which is the same as secant squared. Now that is gonna get multiplied by dx, so we will need to figure out what dx is. So let's find out. The derivative of x with respect to theta, the derivative of tangent of theta is secant squared of theta. Now you may remember that from Calc 1, or just reference that uh, to, to remind yourself of why that is, but it's true. Secondly, algebraically, dx then is the secant squared of theta d theta, bringing that d theta over. So using this and this, we're going to rewrite this integral to kind of impose upon it some structure that will be very, very helpful. So let me just kind of set these aside here for a minute. So this integral becomes now 1 over 1 plus x, but remember x is equal to the tangent of theta. And then that got multiplied by our dx, that little delta x, that change in x, which is secant squared theta d theta. Now again, at this moment, you might wonder, well, how does this help? I hope you can see it. Can you see a couple steps ahead? Can you see why this is helpful? One plus tangent squared we know is the same as secant squared. So this thing becomes one over secant squared times secant squared theta d theta. And so now it should be obvious that this simplifies to just become the integral of one d theta. So we've taken something that was a, a struggle for us and we've transformed it into a structure that ultimately gives us the integral of 1d theta, which is theta plus your integration constant plus c. Now this is great, but we like to express our final answer in the same variable we started with. So let's transform this back to be in terms of x. Remember we let x equal tangent of theta. So if x is equal to the tangent of theta, then we know that theta is the inverse tangent of x, or alternatively, you can say the arc tangent of x. So our final result here is going to be, I'm gonna use the arc tangent notation. Now you might wonder, I hope you do wonder, the derivative of arc tangent of x really is 1 over 1 plus x squared? Check out another video on that so you can be clear that that is true. But thanks for joining us today. And do click on the next videos to see that all of this does make sense. And also, if you would please, click on the Advantage logo and subscribe to our channel. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next video.